Um, do you have any initial questions before we uh, jump into the actual campaign? Um, not really. So, I mean, basically, um, I find a lot of my own clients. Okay. And I am fully booked. But the problem is, it's me constantly finding them through Facebook or through referrals or through um, Instagram, but nothing through Google. And when I think about if I'm going to book a service, the first thing I'm going to do is go on Google. Mm -hmm. And if people can't find me that way, I'm missing out on all of this good clientele because our my work is that good. It's just how do I get it out there? Yeah. So I said, you know, can we put it in the marketing budget to um, start up Google AdWords? So I went yeah. in there and I played around on it, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. So it wasn't bringing in any, we weren't converting any calls. So I'm redoing the website now just to make it a little more professional and make it easy to navigate and pull people in that way. But with the Google ads, I have no idea what I'm doing. So. Okay. Okay, cool. And you're, uh, we'll, we'll kind of dive into your core products here. All right. So let's. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Um, Let's look at the last 30 days and see what you, you have going on. Um, just looking at this. So you've done, you spent $274. And this is all just foot traffic, right? Is, was, is the goal? Yeah, I mean, phone calls. Um, okay. But yeah, basically. Okay. All right. And then you have, and then these are your core products you're focusing on uh, driving uh, the foot traffic on. So you have skin, um, so eyebrows, and then injectables. Um, all right. So your conversion rate, looking a little, little, your conversion rate look, looking a little low here. Uh, so we'll, we'll kind of look into that. Make sure you have your uh, conversion action set up properly. I see you ha you've had two, and then you're pay you've paid uh, on average of uh, 137 50 so the no two mass. people that called us were actually existing clients. Okay. So use negative keywords and block. Like if people yeah. just look up Smart Cosmetic, that they don't click on the sponsor. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing I want to do here really quick, uh, I'm going to switch this just to expert mode really quick. This is um, This will give you a little bit more information on your account as well uh, when you're looking into things. Let me let that load really quick. Uh, and we can go, I want, I want to, first thing I want to do is I want to make sure you have your conversion action set up properly, uh, just so that we know you are tracking, uh, calls or whatever. So, uh, so I see calls from smart campaign. So, um, how are you tracking these, uh, now do you have like a call rail or anything like that set up? Or are you just using the, uh, the actual call length? Um, I mean, we were just looking to see what phone calls we actually got. Okay. You know, because usually when people call and if they're a new client and they book with us, mm -hmm. you know, Beth asks, you know, how did you hear about us? And it's all, yeah. we haven't really gotten much from, or anything, I don't think at all from Google. Okay. Um, so whenever setting up the call length here, I would recommend uh, lowering this down to like, um, uh, like a, a second or so because if, if you have anybody call in you can kind of tr you can track those a little bit better um now you can set up a secondary uh action that you could also use uh that would be that would actually track longer calls if you wanted to but as far as like the initial conversion um you definitely would want to set up a shorter call length on this uh so that you know like okay well someone dialed the number and then it'll trigger that action um so rec that's that's my recommendation on that. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. So and then you're using, yeah, you are using a smart campaign here. So, um, let me just take a look at this really quick. So the smart campaigns, they will uh, limit what you can see, as far as like uh, data data wise. It's loading really slow today. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so this is going to like we, we can see some of this stuff, but as far as um, what the the actual data we can see, it, it will limit this some. Um, but let's see what you have here. 
Yeah, because yeah. I looked through everything yeah. a million times too, and I was having a hard time really getting in there to find out yeah. what I need to change. Okay. Yeah, because basically like Google is has like pretty much taken over the entire campaign for you. Like you can give some feedback and they're they they're good. Like they're they're but they, they leave out a lot of uh customization that you can make to the campaign or um that as far as that goes. So so these are I'm assuming that this is kind of what you dropped in earlier, uh as far as your keyword um uh, keywords you're focused on. Um so like the issue with the smart campaigns is they can they can run these like broad match, which means like it could be completely irrelevant. They could run these phrase match. Like we have no real way of knowing necessarily uh, on the smart campaign. Uh, so I, I say all that to say you might want to set up a secondary campaign uh, to where it's just like the normal campaign and not smart campaign because it's going to give you um, – a lot more customization as far as like how your how your clients are seeing or what they're seeing or how they're coming in so um yeah, there's so many impressions and nothing's an actual yeah exactly it, like, doesn't yeah i get what you're saying yeah so okay so as far as the search terms here like th this is what is is coming up that they're showing you so i would recommend you know just dry, dive into these making sure that there's not any like uh branded uh, terms or that they all they're all relevant to what you're you're going after um and so then, i was looking through them and yeah they're they are pretty relevant okay, okay i good. feel like what we need is if the website is laid out a little more properly where they can go in and see really nice just a few really good photos that show it then it'll convert it to a call um, yeah because i feel like everyone looks up microblading but i don't do microblading i do yeah. right yeah, but they don't this... know the difference. They just look up microblading. But we don't really have a lot of microblading photos. Gotcha. But so then it doesn't yeah. get called. Yeah, so and, th and this might be like a little bit more like th this is pretty broad. So microblading, this could be someone looking for microblading videos. It could be microblading DIY. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be like something that they're looking for a service on. So um, kind of going back to the, to the, the keywords, like if you want to be a little bit more in intentional as far as like um microblading service or however the consumer would search uh you want to give a little bit more detail like maybe like uh one to two if it makes sense uh word uh keyword in there so microblading service or microblading let's see microblading near me or best microblading um business or you know something like that of like how a consumer would search for you and find you um, so that you can kind of like get rid of any, um, anything that would be like microblading DIY or I don't necessarily know what microblading yeah. is, <laughs> but, I um, no. yeah. yeah, but you know what I'm saying? Like, so you can kind of go after those more intent based searches. So just a tip there on that. Um, and you could, yeah, you could redo these or you could just add, add to them. You could expand on these as much as you as you, as you can. So, uh, but yeah, that's that would be if you if you do end up setting up another um, campaign where it's like manual a manual campaign, um, you can you could extend these and you could break these out into their ad their own ad groups actually. So you could have microblading, and then from there you could have uh, all kinds of different like variations of the microblading uh, keywords. So you could have even like you could even have like an individual like microblading uh, keyword, um, but then you could you could actually monitor the the success of that keyword, um, and if it was spent if it wasn't making any money or making any uh, leads for you or calls, uh, then you could like literally pause it. That's the benefit of like the ma the more manual campaigns. So yeah, I didn't even realize it just automatically set it up. I think as a smart campaign and i just, yeah. just and that's just what it was called so i was like okay yeah for sure no i totally get it and that's yeah a lot of people uh will do that that's for sure it's not it's not just you by any means um so yeah so you have your your smart camp your smart or your i'm sorry you have your negative uh terms in here so that's good um you know keep keep expanding on here as you see 
um, any irrelevant uh, things. One thing you can do, like, uh, let's see, on your – you could even go – you can add these as negative, but you can also come in here and you can do uh, – you can add um, – like more phrase match based things like you can say let's say smart so this would say it would basically say anything that includes smart uh i would it would no longer actually they don't let you do that in here oh, wow i didn't that's crazy i didn't know that okay so in here you have to do, you have to use broad match only so you have you have that right though you're you're getting rid of anything uh that would include smart on anything so um it gets rid of any of these. No, no more of these will, <clears throat> in, in more terms, will show up for those. So, okay. Um, okay let me. Uh, I'm gonna go out of the campaign here really quick. Yeah. So we're pretty. We're pretty limited to what we can actually see here and do. But <clears throat> okay. So you have. You do have your ad here. Um. And then these are driving. Uh, it looks like they are. Let's see here. Okay, so that's your business name there. Okay, and you may want to you may want to uh, extend a bit more, like write write a few more um, ads for this, and speak directly to the to the calls the calls to action that you want the consumer to make. So if you want them to go to the website, that's great. Uh, but if you want them to like if you want them to call you, like tell them to call you um, inside of the ad. So you know like. Uh, if it were like for microblading, like microblading service, you know, uh, and then you say call now to schedule or something like that. And then uh, it should be presenting your your business number here. Um, so they will can, they can literally just touch this to call. So that's what I recommend for ads, uh, any ads. <coughs> um, you want to make you want to give them you want to tell them to, to make a certain action. Uh, call so out schedule like, or come up with a couple of the bigger things like that we do best and make a couple different ads yes exactly okay. exactly yeah because then it'll start it'll show different ads to different like search <laughs> keywords yeah so that's the limitation behind the smart campaign unfortunately is like you it's not gonna let you um, put just the microblading ad for just the microblading keywords that's why i recommend like going out of that so if you create a i probably will end up just making it yeah that. okay so that being said you know I, I, would, I would recommend doing that so as you do that like when you create your your ad groups like break them into like the microblading the power the power browse uh permanent eyebrows like break them into like those certain specific ad groups and then for, in there put all of the rev relevant uh, keywords inside of those ad groups. And then uh, inside of those, um, those ad groups, you can then also do your, um, your ads themselves that's speaking directly to that service. Yeah. So, you know, it makes a lot more sense and you, that will automatically give you uh, better results than you're getting, than you're getting now. Like no, okay. no doubt about it. Um, so, and then, yeah, make, make sure you have your, Google My Business connected to this account. Um, let's see here. And yeah, make sure you have your Google My Business uh, connected to your account because it's gonna it'll use that to present it to uh, like online. They can you can use it as an extension in there so they they can easily see like okay this is a legitimate business they have they have reviews. Um, if they do want to to find you and like automatically uh, na navigate to you like they can do those certain things so how do I connect it to the Google business uh, so just you would just go inside of your Google my business account uh, and then inside of there it'll get it'll show you the options of like okay just connecting the in connecting your Google like Google Ads account 
with that uh, specific um, Google My Business. Okay. And then it'll automatically give you the option for, for that being an extension uh, for your ads that, that, that like pre-populates all, all the information. So, because yeah, so that's basically like, Google is kind of taking over and just kind of managing it for me, but I, I can go in there and do it all myself. Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll be, you'll be very hard pressed to, uh, to have a successful one. Um, if it ends up being too difficult for you to do, uh, outside of a smart campaign, like if you're like, this is just crazy. Um, maybe just, create a new campaign for each uh, service and then you know i so could probably do it without the it was yeah. actually kind of annoying me how limited it was but i didn't yeah. realize that there was yeah. more to it yeah we have some really good videos too that like literally walk you step by step on how to create the the uh the, the campaigns like how to do it uh how to set up your um your ad group so there's a lot of really good step-by-step -step videos on there for that stuff on our, on our YouTube channel. So you think telling them, like, call us, um, book with us, like those words, I feel like they're like, I don't know. They're like salesy. They are. But, uh, so let's say you, if you're presented with, um, if you're presented with, with an ad that doesn't have a cl like clear direction on what, so, okay. Um, let's just say like for your business, uh, let's say you just mentioned, you dropped a bunch of really good keywords on what you, what you do. Um, but the net, they, they read all those things. Like what, it, how do they know the, the next action to take? Um, just, li just okay. literally, <clears throat> just literally mentioning them or men mentioning to them, to take that that step like increases your conversion rate by I don't even know the percentage it's yeah it's astronomical Makes sense. yeah yeah so I mean it is salesy but I mean technically this is a, a form of sales like advertising is a form of sales like it's yeah. an outreach um, now if you're doing like more branding that's a completely different story um, but in this like the goal to this is to get calls because you want to schedule you want to get people to to schedule appointments with you so. Do I want to put the prices on the website or no? Uh, there, you can. Yeah, you can. You can even, uh, there's actually options for pricing. Um, like when you do your manual campaign, uh, there's extensions, ad extension there where, where you can do like pricing uh, to present to the consumers. So that's something you could test to see how, how it does. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Do you have any other, any other questions outside of that? I'm sorry, I, I couldn't be a little bit more helpful on the... Um, it's okay. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to um, create a new campaign mm -hmm. and go in there and, you know, add all these things in. And then I have your email if I have any questions, as long as you don't mind. Oh, yeah. No, no problem at all. Yeah. This uh, connect with us, you know, once once you get it set up, like uh, and have it run a little bit, a little bit longer, I'd be happy to like jump back on and we can we can do another run through. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Thank you so much. You were a lot more helpful than you think. Cause it was like, I knew there had to be a way, but it wasn't <laughs> allowing me. And I was like, this is pissing me off. Like there yeah. has to be a better way. So no, you yeah. cleared that up for me. So I'll get in there and see what that's all about. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm glad I was helpful then, but yeah, check out uh click ski, you know, check out the, the, uh, the YouTube channel and stuff like that. Like there's some really good videos for that. Um, of the step by steps, like Rob does a a really good job at like uh, even like for the bidding and extensions, like it's pretty broken down. Like each module on how to do what and why is broken down pretty good for you. So like, there's some really good tips on there if you need yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, he was telling me about that. So yeah, yeah, that's some what good I'll stuff. Do. <clears throat> All awesome. right, cool. All okay. right, well, good luck and uh, and thank you so much for hopping on. Yeah, sure. Have a good one. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.